F-Droid. Proprietary software should not exist. If you don't have it, you need to rethink your priorities. F-Droid is a repository of free and open source apps for Android. It's basically a Google Play Store, but only apps that respect your user freedoms are listed in the catalog. If you want to regain more control over your device and enhance your privacy and security, F-Droid is where you want to start. F-Droid gives you the opportunity to take your phone completely, completely Google free because you can find free and open source privacy respecting alternative for pretty much any mainstream app on Play Store that doesn't sell your data to Facebook or Google. If you are running Lineage OS or other custom ROM, you can avoid Google privacy invasion through Play Store by using F-Droid instead. Even if you don't root your phone and are left to keep your default apps, you can still replace them with false alternatives and use an application firewall like NetGuard to block network access to all default apps so that they can't collect your data. F-Droid is awesome. And even though this video is not sponsored, I'm gonna try my best to sell you this amazing volunteer-run project. If you want to support this anti-brand friendly YouTube channel, please donate 5 to 10 bucks a month. You'll get some exclusive content twice a week as my gratitude. Getting started with Android is as simple as installing any other application on your laptop or PC. To download Android, you can head directly to their website, avdroid.org, and download its APK file. This is basically a classic executable that installs Android on your phone. In to install Android, you will need to enable the option to install applications from unknown sources. Google Play Protect should prompt you to, to allow installation from this source. If it doesn't, open your settings app, search for source, find something that says allow installation from unknown sources and make sure it is enabled. Because fdroid.org website is encrypted, it is unlikely the APK file has been tampered with. But if you are concerned about possible man-in-the-middle attacks, download the PGP signature as well and use it to verify the APK file. The easiest way to do this is to get an APK verifying app on your phone you can find these on Google Play Store or you can use their website versions. Additionally, you can scan your APK file with an antivirus tool. Or if you are installing F-Droid on a completely de-googled phone, I'd recommend to use the default GNU PGP verifying tool on Linux or GPG for Win on Windows. Once F-Droid is installed, it will run a system check to make sure all the listed apps are compatible with your device. When you first launch Android, check for updates to get the latest version of the client and repositories. And that's pretty much it. It is as simple as that. Now you are free to browse the world of free and open source Android apps that respect your privacy and freedom. Android is a professionally organized and presented project. All the apps are logically organized into categories. It's easy to browse, search, and explore what's out there. Updating is as easy as refreshing the repositories. What's really neat is that sometimes Android will give you a warning that an app might contain features that you might not like or anti-features, such as in-app purchases or ads. Most apps don't require any special permissions. They really do work as intended and do not need anything additional. Most app developers are accepting donations, so if you like some apps, show their creators some appreciation for their hard work. If you are just starting out with Android, I'd love to take this opportunity to suggest you some awesome apps. NetGuard. If you're on a journey to better protect your privacy from invasive apps on your phone, installing NetGuard should be your first step. NetGuard is an application firewall that blocks network access to specific applications of your choice. This app single-handedly gives you the most amount of control over who gets access into your precious personal data. By default, NetGuard is gonna function in a blacklist mode. This means all apps are allowed network access and those you choose will be blocked. This is good for beginners, but I would recommend to go for a whitelist mode, where you pick a small selection of apps that can't function without internet access and you block everything else. Bromite. Another must-have app is Bromite. This is a security-focused mobile browser based on Chromium. 
Bromide isn't listed on the main FDRA repository, but you can edit manually. You can find it on bromide.org forward slash FDroid and add the repo in your FDroid settings. Bromide is an excellent browser and the only one I would trust on a phone. The only way I would recommend to use a mobile browser would be to block all JavaScript, use DuckDuckGo and encrypt your DNS queries. You can encrypt your DNS queries under privacy settings via secure DNS. Here you can configure DNS over HTTPS by simply copy pasting an encrypted DNS URL or IP address. You can find a list of many encrypted DNS providers at privacytools.io. Web apps. If you are using social media apps, you naturally can't block their network access. But this compromises your privacy because social media apps track and collect everything they can get from your phone, including your location, camera, microphone, contacts, files, and photos. There is a workaround to this by using web apps. Web apps functions as a web browser, but for website versions of various social media apps. The benefit is that you can use Facebook on your phone without giving Facebook access into your phone's data. The only trade-off is security because you need to load JavaScript from those websites. I would say that it is quite unlikely you stumble upon the malicious code that takes over your phone if you are careful and don't visit sketchy websites. For a general user, preventing Facebook from stalking you 24-7 is a pretty good deal. As long as you only open links from social media and bromide with JavaScript blocked by default, you should be safe. Web apps allows you to block unnecessary third-party domains which only serve to load ads and tracking scripts. Another excellent choice for mobile browsing is Tor Browser. To find it on Android, you first need to enable the Guardian project in repository settings. I would also configure Tor Browser to block all JavaScript by sliding your security settings to the safest mode and block all unencrypted connections through HTTPS everywhere. Other than that, you can use it as a regular Tor browser. If you like using multiple browsers at once, the other two I would recommend are DuckDuckGo Privacy Browser and Firefox Focus. They're both quite simplistic and do the job well enough. Fdroid gives you the opportunity to replace some essential default apps with false alternatives. Some guy developed a range of simple apps such as Simple Contacts, Simple File Manager, Simple Gallery or Simple Calendar that do their job flawlessly and are completely ad-free. You can use this to protect your private files and data and revoke permissions of the default apps to access them. Or, if your phone is rooted, you can remove default apps completely and only use simple apps. Even Telegram has a free and open source version of their messaging app here. That's really neat because you can install Telegram without relying on Google Play services, which prevents Google from tracking your location. Another cool app is Newpipe. This is a front-end YouTube client that gives you a full YouTube experience without ads and invasive permissions. Among many other features, Newpipe lets you download videos and subscribe to channels. The app is currently beta testing support for Peertube, a promising decentralized alternative to YouTube video hosting monopoly. I recommend you browse Android through its categories and start with the most favorite and interesting apps. Finance and cryptocurrency is an interesting category to explore. You can install widgets or apps to keep track of Bitcoin or altcoin prices or get apps that help you manage your finances. Android also lists an impressive range of false games. It's nothing groundbreaking, but some of these are good time killers or boosters of thinking and mindfulness. Fdroid is your first step on your path to mobile freedom. It's an ultimate challenge to Google's monopoly on the Android platform. Because the only thing that can truly challenge the big tech monopoly is free and open source movement.